I use this bag also when I do my uh, tour stuff. So I just add a few things in uh, like a uh, different color. Hey, it's good to have you back for another What's In Your Kit. If you'd like to be in a future episode, visit dcsoundup.com forward slash submit your kit for all the details on how to make that happen. Today's video is from Dom Trotta out of London, and he works as a corporate and touring engineer, production manager, and tour manager in the UK and around Europe. Dom has a YouTube channel as well where he posted a version of this video before, and his podcast, Fun With Dom, is on all major platforms and should definitely be in your subscriptions. Let's get right to it, though, and see what Mr. Dom Trotta has in his kit. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to this new episode. This time I'm gonna uh, show you who I've got my belly case. So I've got this um, and the, the small one. So this is what I normally carry with me when I do my uh, tour, let's say in this case. But normally I carry just this one with me. Uh, which one inside? So, so you can see on this side how it's uh, kind of like uh, divider you can see on, um, on this camera here um, this is like um, like an IKEA divider that I that I bought um, and in here as you can see I've got the proper like uh, pedi case one with different stuff I've got also kind of like a LED on uh, on all around here just in case I need a bit of light let's start from from this side so I've got um, this is a pouch with uh, cut five tester. It's quite handy sometimes. Barrel cut five is something that uh, can be always useful. Oh, as you can see, I've got like uh, my uh, kind of like uh, name everywhere, um, just to make sure that I've got always my stuff. I have got another pouch with uh, different kind of uh, of tools inside. Yeah, like screwdriver and. Uh, yeah, all these kind of stuff can be always useful when you need to do something like fix stuff last minute. I've got just uh, like headlights that uh, is always good to have during the rig and stuff. Just put on the front and that's it. I've got a normal easy bearing of this, uh, nothing really um, complicated. Nice and easy, just to test XLR and jack. Actually, I'm thinking to buy uh, a proper one to test also like a speak on cable, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna buy something next week, maybe. Passive um, XLR uh, splitter. I use these uh, most of the time when we need to do some broadcast stuff. I've got spare battery of always, AA, power tester, something that uh, can be useful to test the power. Tape, normal black tape, I've got yellow tape yeah i carry with me always like a black gaffer just in case but most of the time i find that one on site but it's something that i carry with me because i use this bag also when i do my uh, tour stuff so i just add a few things in uh, like a you normal know, different color of, of gaffer tape like green or yellow if i need to just mark something on the floor i've got my headphone this sony one they the Pretty good, the, the MD series, I don't know if you can see. Pretty good, I found really handy when I need to listen to something. This is like something that saved always my life. This is um, a two, uh, it's like a splitter for um, for, um, for speaker and cable. Yeah, if you need to do, I don't know, like uh, front and back for delay in like in a small conference, it's quite handy to run all the cable around and just run the two cable on the back where it's um, linked together. I've got just one. One output through this one. I've got my laser here. Uh, so I've got this. Um, <laughs> this is uh, this is a gift that actually I received a few months ago. Yeah, I think that was for Christmas or after Christmas. I don't remember. But yeah, this is um, a Iscom mic. Um, it's a proper uh, microphone for measurement. Uh, it's a really good mic, um, and I use this one with uh, my Focusrite. I've got Scarlett two point um, two one. I don't remember the name, but yeah, um, I'm using to record this uh, small back. Nothing really, really. With uh, the iBox, this is the one with the cable and everything. Really handy. I've got a small loom, 
for the DI box. So just a normal uh, cable. Here yeah, and I've got like like normal SCA 3.5. Um, yeah, few of these adapter. Female to female, male to male. Always handy to have some of this stuff. A barrel adapter for for the speaker speaker cable. Another adapter. Uh, yeah, bunch of like uh, XLR jack. This is something that is it's quite handy sometimes. I've been using this one actually two times because sometimes when we have got a backup laptop and a primary machine, sometimes. Um, you have got like a normal normal clicker to click through the slide. Well, I use this one because I can split the signal to the desk to the um, laptop, and it works quite good. I've got another small bag where I've got all my video adapter, so I do quite a lot of uh, corporate stuff. So it's always handy to have got like a DVI to HDMI. I've got few old Mac adapter just in case. I've got like another one that is light port to HDMI. You never know, can be always good. Small adapter like this, DVI to DVI, it's quite handy to have. And that's what is on this one. Funny things, I've got always with me um, a small four way, just in case something happen. Well, it's always I've got like a plan. So yeah, it's always good to have this with me. Other tape. And um, on the top, on, on this side, in here, I've got different things. I've got my in-ear protection. Uh, show you on this camera. It's they are really handy when you do like uh, stuff with the DJ and stuff. Uh, these are from Axe. It's quite quite good. I've got lighting cable for um, like iPhone or iPad charger. I've got my personal personal earpiece for uh, for Motorola radio. On this side in here I've got lights, normal lights, charger, external charger. I think that this is uh, 4,000 um, 4, milliampers. <laughs> USB A to a USB B. 9 watts. Always good, I've got one of these. I've got a um, 32 yeah, gigabyte card. On this side I've got my Leatherman. Always good to have one of these. Um, it's like a small uh, first uh, AD kit. I've got lanyard. That's something that can be useful. So this is uh, kind of like a strip. I normally use this one when um, when I've got a headset mic um, because it's handy to like literally fit tape actually the headphone on the face, especially if it's like a theater thing. So yeah, I've got. Uh, like a, a lanyard with a, with a sharpie, three different color, the one that I use most of the time. Another sharpie here, and I've got a pen that I use for um, for the touch screen when I've got like a, I don't know, Yamaha desk or Digigo desk that I've got the touch screen. That's it, what I've got my my pelly case that I normally use every show that I do, especially as a sound guy when I do corporate stuff. I use the same bag also when I do my touring things. I add inside a few things that I I know that I may will need. I take out like all the video adapter. Yeah, I take with me always the cut off five tester because especially with the, with the desk that I've got, it's always nice to, if something doesn't work, to test the, the cut five. The small adapter always with me. And um, I'm gonna show you now what I have got on uh, on the other bag. So on this one, I have got all my mics and um, all my DI box. So I've got well, you can see the DI box, the two DI, the three DI box. I've got two, I guess. Yeah, one I can find. So I don't know where it is now. I've got one Beta 58A, AKJ 112. I've got Beta 91A that I use for my kick. Uh, I've got two, two 609, um, E609. Um, I use this one mainly for, um, for my guitar. Most of the time, if I've got one single guitar, I use both of them. It's stupid, but um, some, someone can think that it can be stupid. It's quite the same mic. But I do different EQ and uh, 
sometimes I do stereo and stuff so but anyway it's quite good I will do a video where I will explain how I mic most of my instrument on stage um, I've got two AKJ uh, C451 they are really nice I use this one for uh, for over it sound good for me for the stuff that I do kind of do that I'm doing at the moment it's really good I've got um, the Sennheiser um, E945 yeah I use this one mainly for the vocal uh, the main vocal it's a really good mic. At the moment I'm not using wireless mic, I'm just using uh, just normal mic with cable to be fair. I found really handy, it's really good, no problem, no problem with the frequency, especially when you do EU, uh, Europe. Um, and I've got four uh, of um, the Sennheiser, the E604, yeah these are really good. Uh, I use this one for, um, for my toms, floor toms and yeah, sounds, sound good, easy to to EQ if you have got any problem in the room. So yeah, they are actually not much expensive. Yeah, I've got a few SM57, uh, normal standard, nice mic, really nice, you can do everything. I normally use this one for my snare. Sometimes, it depends, but sometimes I use uh, one uh, 57 on top and one E64 uh, on the bottom. Sometimes I can do the opposite so I use the E64 on top and the uh, 57 uh, from the bottom so as I am an ex drummer so I like to, to try different sound I've got an SM58 normal standard for uh, backing vocal or whatever I need another mic this is uh, this is quite of like small mic uh, I like the sound is um, is an uh, MX MXL 604. I use this one mainly for um, for the hi hat. Yeah, it's uh, it's okay. It's uh, it's not the best mic. Uh, I've got a nice sound. I like it's uh, does its job. So at the moment, that's that's what I'm using. That's what is in my in my in my bag. And that's it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy. Uh, if you like, subscribe to the page and. Uh, just like and uh, I would be more than happy if you want to follow me on Instagram and uh, on Facebook you find all the link uh, on the description uh, thank you thanks again to Dom for sending this one in if you've got questions about anything he showed in the video or any of his other work as a tour and production manager and splitting his attention between those roles and handling audio on the road be sure to leave them down below Find all the links to follow Dom on YouTube and his podcast down in the description and on dcsoundup.com forward slash Dom. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and huge thanks to all the patrons who make these videos possible. I'll see you next time.